everyone, welcome back, it's Shelby. Today we are doing three really fast, elegant updos for long straight hair. Um, they're for long straight hair because that is obviously what I have the most experience with. Um, I'm hoping in the future to do some kind of curled hair tutorials, um, but right now this is just for long straight hair. Mainly these are for when everything's ready and you are running out the door and you need to get your hair up and off of your neck and it needs to look nice and you just don't have any more time. You're just, you're out of time. And these three hairdos I have done over and over again and they will take you anywhere from the office to, you know, a nice night out on going to the theater, a friend's bridal shower. It doesn't matter where you're going. They look great. They're always no fail and they're always a big hit, and they're really easy to do and super, super fast. So let's just get started. All right guys, and this is everything you need. A hairbrush, some bobby pins, and two um, rubber bands, ponytail holders, and that's gonna give you all of these hairdos. Okay, great, so here's the first one. You're just going to want to brush your hair real fast. Perfect. Bring it off to one side. Ponytail holder, rubber band, whatever you wanna call it, and make a real, really loose ponytail just beneath your ear. So don't bring it all the way to the side, but just kind of low like that. It's nothing real special, just nice and low. Then you're gonna want to pull out your larger bobby pins just to the side so that you're not grabbing into a pile of them. And I like to divide my hair into like four sections for this. If you have more hair, do five. If you have less hair, like three would probably work. I don't know, I wouldn't do less than three. Um, pull out a section, make like a little two inch circle at the end with your fingers and keep your fingers in there and kind of roll it up as you go, making a nice loose circle as you go. It's kind of difficult to explain it, it's easier just to do it, but you're just making a fake curl basically. And walking it all the way up to the top of the ponytail. And then you take a large bobby pin. And you're going to, I'm doing this by feeling because I'm not in front of a mirror, um, loop it through both your hair and the curl in the bobby pin. You guys know how bobby pins work, but just like that. And you can do the same thing. Just grab a section up front. Brush it in case it's a little tangled, bring it down, and create that roll again. So your fingers can go in. And these can be loose. You can do this if your hair is curled too. I used to do that and then I realized it didn't matter and it could be straight and just save me a step. Do the same thing, secure underneath to the curl and your hair. Here we go. And then if there's any metal pieces, I can feel that sticking up, just swing some hair over them that they go into into place with that, just like that. You can kind of see where I'm going with this. So it looks like it's gonna be three sections instead of four. Just roll the last section down because that's the amount of hair I have left. And this one I'm rolling opposite because it's going at the bottom. And this is kind of a looser type hairdo. So it shouldn't be super strict, like that's not the point of it. So if you've got a few pieces hanging down, don't really worry about them. So you've got something like that, and then you're just gonna wanna kinda fan the hair around until it makes a circle. And then if there's any, I don't really have any long pieces, but if you have any long pieces sticking down, you just pull them up and, and pin them into place. But this is nice. I do this a lot when I'm running late. Um, you can also put something here, like a fascinator. You could put like pretty barrettes here. You could put like some flowers in your hair. But it's just a nice, little, easy, fast, up to do. It looks elegant. It looks like you've spent some time on it and you really haven't. Okay, so for this next one, you need your rubber bands. Just kind of part your hair sort of down the center. If you don't part your hair in the center and the front, just kind of veer towards the center in the back. Look at how I do that, but just kind of parted in the back. And basically all you want to do is two low braids. Just kind of part your hair and braid it. You want to make it relatively tight, not super tight, but um, you don't want to loose braid for this because it's just going to fall out. 
the braiding super fast so if you only have like 10 minutes in the morning and you have to do a hairstyle um, or you're going somewhere and you need a hairstyle this is a good one it's perfect too if you like just got out of the shower or something your hair is still damp or you didn't have time to straighten it and it's frizzy or you tried to curl it and it didn't work out which happens to me more often than I'd care to admit but uh, this is a great way to salvage that because it looks very nice it's very easy to do so if you spent all day curling your hair trying out the new heatless way of curling it or whatnot and it didn't work and now you're out of time this is a good way to remedy that so I'm just braiding the other side this looks super awesome obviously we're not leaving the hair like this not that there's anything wrong with braided pigtails because anyone who knows me is going to be like, wait a minute, you wear your hair pretty close to that. Um, I do, but not with like the corner sticking out. Like It's like low and down and the way it's supposed to be. But it doesn't matter for this. So. There we go. Two awesome pigtails, right? So I'm going to turn around and try to do this backwards and my chair is too tall, so I'm going to turn that. Okay. You're going to want some bobby pins. I'm gonna take those with me. Sorry about this one. And basically, you're going to fold the braid backwards all the way across your head and secure it with a bobby pin. Just like that. Then you take the other side, fold it back, and secure it with a bobby pin. Take this one and just kind of rotate it under so that I'm taking my braid and hiding the ends of it. Bobby pin. And this will hide the rubber band as well. Make sure to get that in there. And I need another little bobby pin. Same thing with this side. Fold it under. Bobby pin. And that is essentially it. See, I can feel this is a little weird. You can play around with it if your hair is longer or shorter, it'll do different things, but basically it's just a nice braided kind of nest in the back of your hair. And then you just kind of pull the braids apart like that and pin them until you think it achieves the look you're going for. And you just really make them look big and voluminous just kind of like that and whenever you like something good just put a pin in it and then we'll turn to the front it's easy it's fast it looks pretty good and it stays put all day which is great and that's um, just easy braided hairdo okay and the last hairdo is slightly more whimsical it's also one that I have to do backwards again, but you will need a um, rubber band and then bobby pins. Again, just basic, basic tools. I'm gonna turn my chair around. Some bobby pins. Do two big ones and a bunch of little ones, but that might change. So start with a um, ponytail, kind of in the center back of your head. brush it out a little bit and then just make sure it looks good from the front eh, close enough okay so then you're going to want to separate it into two sections the first section you're going to want to spin like this just spin it like a little side bun and then loop it around itself and go down again and then spin it the other direction, just like that, and secure that with a bobby pin. And push that through the ponytail to secure it, 
And then this second little straggler of hair, we're just going to do the same thing. And then your big bobby pin, you go up at the top, bring that bun back up, just clip the edge of it and tuck it back behind like that. And the idea is that you're making a butterfly wing. Like I said, it's a little whimsical, but it's cute. Same thing with the other side, spin it. Loop it around. Spin the other way. Bring it down. Pin the bottom. And that's basically it. And so it's supposed to be, I don't know if you can see my fingers, the little butterfly wings. It doesn't always read like a butterfly. You can see from the side, it's kind of. And then from the front, it just kind of looks like a bun. Um, so I really like this one. Sometimes I wear it to work. I have gotten a lot of compliments on it. Nobody has made the butterfly connection, but you know, it makes me happy being like, my hair looks like a butterfly. Um, even when it doesn't and when it's just like really not working out then it just looks like fun loopy buns and it doesn't even look like you're going for that shape but it still looks really nice. So that's the last of the no fail hairdos. I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed this video. If you did please give it a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more fun DIY tutorial videos. I will put all of my socials down in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Bye!